All right, hello, my fellow teacher friends. I wanted to come on and let you know some new things I have learned about how to screen record with audio on an iPad. So first, you're going to want to move your finger or a stylus if you have one over to the right upper hand corner and you're going to want to pull this down. Right now you see a target that's blinking. If you don't have this screen recording option right here, you need to click out of this, go into your settings. Next, you want to make sure that you click control center, which is right below general. Next, please click on custom controls. Right here, I had more controls that weren't in my main panel right here. So I just clicked add screen recording and that's how screen recording is now in my control center right here. So say I wanted to add my alarm, hearing, magnifier, anything, QR code reader, that looks good. Now my QR code reader is right here. So if you did not have screen recording in this upper right drop down, now you do. Next, to start a screen recording, you want to hold this down and make sure that your microphone is on. If you don't want your voice or your own audio to be listened to, you need to make sure your microphone's off. But when I'm making a video for my students, I want to make sure that they can also hear my voice and I don't have to do a separate audio recording. So mine is on. And now you can enter any app that you can write on. So you might do notes. I'm going to use an app called Notability. And right now you see this coordinate grid. I was just showing my dad something. But I'm on a new page now. And now I can use any color I want to choose the size, and then I can start teaching my students. I'm going to erase that because that was way too big. Okay, so this app that I'm using, I'm going to go back to the home screen. This is called Notability. It was just on our school iPads. Oh, again, too big. Hold this down. Make a smaller number. Okay, number one. <laughs> number one, I'm going to say this is on page 373 and 374, and then I can kind of go on, teach my students. Right now we're doing fractions, we're doing fractions on number lines, and I can go in, they can hear my voice, they can see me when I'm talking about halves or fourths, and so on. So again, you just go to the upper right, oops, sorry the upper right of your screen, pull it down, hit screen recording. When you're done, you can hit end screen recording. It will save into your photos. And once you can go into your photos, I'm not going to open that up right now, but you go into your photos. What's really neat is you can share it to your email in a message, airdrop it. You can upload it to your Google Classroom, upload it to YouTube, upload it to your Google Drive or Bloom. So there's so many different things when you save it into your photos. And so if you didn't already know, that is just one way that you can screen record with audio a note to help teach your students. So I hope that helped you. Bye.